Welcome to the Sponsored Rider Club Podcast, your guide to motorsport sponsorship. Here's your host, Josh Weesey. Welcome to the Sponsored Rider Club Podcast Live Experience, which is powered by Amsoil. And this episode is brought to you by GSP XTV Axles. I'm excited for the show. We're bringing Lauren Morell of Mad Dog Media Marketing back on the show. He was recently featured on episode 92, so not that long ago. We recorded this live on Facebook on July 30th, 2018, and I won't get into all the details about what we talked about. It's good stuff. You'll hear more about that in a minute. I do just want to highlight that since this is recorded on Facebook Live. It's through cell phones. The audio quality isn't quite as good as the other standard podcast episodes, and it just doesn't undergo the same, I guess, editing practices either. So cut us some slack around that piece. And I do have one other quick request for you. We recently partnered with Jeff Vanistall of TopThePodium.com to completely overhaul our website, and I would love for you to go check it out let me know your thoughts. Go to www.sponsoredriderclubpodcast.com. So that's all one word, sponsoredriderclubpodcast.com. Check it out. Let us know your thoughts. All right, that's it. I'm not going to talk too much. I'm going to let you get into the show. Well, howdy. Welcome to this episode of Sponsored Rider Club Podcast. All right. Is that, a, is that too much? Let's try that. <clears throat> All right. Well, <laughs> welcome everybody to this episode of the Sponsored Rider Club Podcast Live Experience, which is powered by Amsoil. Really excited about this one. And I'm really excited too because we already got two people joining. Jake and Scott, the Facebook Live wizards themselves, are first to the show. Uh, but there's a couple things that I want to tell you about today. We are bringing on Lauren Morrell of Mad Dog Media Marketing. He was originally featured on episode 92. What's up, Sean Endel is on too, man? Ah, ah, ah. We got this thing down. <laughs> Scott, this is for you, brother. Look at this. You might have missed it at the beginning, but that's for real. There's more where that came from. We got different colors and all sorts of things. Those might come out later. But either way, back to the intro. Lauren is coming on to talk about the behind the scenes promotion of others. That means connecting people. That means telling companies about how great somebody is, giving them support behind the scenes. That's what we're here to talk about today. So I'm pretty excited about that. But there's a few more things I want to talk about first. Uh, one, Amsoil. So I have a story I want to share. It actually just happened to me, was it yesterday or the day before? Uh, I was selling my lawn tractor, which if anybody knows me, like it's near and dear to my heart. It was a really tough day for me, but I've got a big sticker on it. I put it on like five, six years ago. It says Amsoil on the side. And, uh, I was explaining to the guys, yeah, I just changed oil. So you're good to go. You know, it's full synthetic. And I went, in, I, I probably spent like two minutes telling them about how frequently I changed the oil. And, you know, I gave them some of the spare that was there. I was like, here, you can have the rest of this. I got a little left. And uh, it's pretty funny. Either way, he was like, this is the biggest compliment. He said, man, I feel really good about buying this tractor from you. And I was like, hey, that's it, man. I did my job. Uh, so I was pretty excited about that. Uh, so I just want to tell you that story. I thought it was, it was pretty fun. Um, this show is also brought to you by GSP XTV Axles. And I just got to give another quick plug here. You're going to see these axles, which I got them up on the screen right here, GSP XTV axles. You're going to see them in action at the Vegas Serena race, which I will also be at. Bold Racing is going to be running those axles. A lot of other people are running them too, but if you want to see some of the, the true action, definitely check it out. So, And if you are at Vegas Serena, swing by the Bold Racing booth. I'm going to be there. We got Jim Beaver is going to be there. I'm interviewing him. Kristen Matlock, Wayne Matlock. Uh, we're locking down some others too right now, but pretty excited to do some, some interviews there. Lauren is joined as well. What's up, man? Uh, for people who are coming on, like, comment, share, tag your friends, tag your businesses, tag your dogs. I know some people have like their own dog page. 
tag those things too. Like, let's make it happen. Uh, share this out to different groups. We want to get get this as much exposure as possible for the show. Jake Vegas Torino, that's right. We're doing it big style. Uh, and actually, while I'm plugging events, I'm also going to be at Heydays. All right, so I want to see people who are joining too. Comment if you're going to be at Heydays this year out in Minnesota. You know, where the, they got the long O's there in Minnesota. Eh? Uh, either way, I want to see those comments too. Uh, so I'm going to actually work on bringing uh, Lauren on the show so we, we can get him on the camera and you can actually start talking to that guy because he's really who you're here to see. You know, be the guy that wears a cowboy hat periodically. Hey, that's it, man. What's up? You got the helmet rolling, too. Nice. <laughs> hey, this is actually a shout-out um, to one of your recent guests. That's R.J. Anderson right there. Oh, okay. <laughs> right on, man. Right on. I, uh... You know, RJ was just on episode 95. Uh, I just released episode 96. Actually, this is funny. I accidentally released it a day early. No joke. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was way ahead of the game. I was. I, I thought I was in good shape, and I, I hit the wrong publish date, and I woke up this morning, and I was like, huh, it's already published. But either way, so that's out there. But either way, <laughs> RJ was on the last, the last episode, episode 95, and he crushed it. So I definitely... Would love it if people went and checked out that show, but I don't have his autograph though. I don't have his autograph. Yeah, he's uh, that was a great episode. Anybody, uh, if you're listening and you haven't downloaded it, dude, do it. It's it's solid. It's good. I yeah. I had so much fun. I've known RJ a long time, um, but I had so much fun listening to that episode. Um, and I learned, you know, learned a lot, too, and that's what it's about also. So, you know, but that laugh, <laughs> you know, he, it's awesome. It was a great yeah, episode. Definitely. definitely. Hey, so Veronica joined, too. Welcome, Veronica. You know, if you if you got your questions, you know, go ahead and uh, go ahead and type them in whatever. We'll get to those later on the show. Yeah. But, Veronica, feel free to invite your friends. Share share this out to, to to your audience, and uh, yeah, we're getting ready to get started. So, uh, Lauren, great. Crazy Watson just joined. Uh, hey, Steve, my friend Tracy. Hi, Tracy. Hey, 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 Tracy, we're waving at you. Hello. <laughs> um, Tracy just got off. No, I don't know if she did or not. <laughs> nice, but uh, the guy. <laughs> oh, so he just got off. Uh, well, yeah. hey, what, what I want to kind of do here is is talk about promoting and serving others kind of behind the scenes. You know, that's something that you sure. and I have talked about a little bit. So I want you to kind of just bring us into that topic, uh, kick us off. Let's let's get rolling with that conversation. Well, there's there's, um, you know, a lot of uh, there's a lot of aspects to that. Let's. Hey, Tim. Um <laughs> A good question. Probably the. <laughs> How many cups of coffee do you have? <laughs> We're working on them right now, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> but hey, guess what though? Here's the here's the problem though, Tim. Is, yeah, mine's just, mine's empty. I'm not getting it. I pre-filled mine <laughs> just before. <laughs> um. Right, yeah, so behind the scenes. So. Helping, yeah. helping people, number one, this is a big industry but a small family. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's, for me, I try my best to be a good person, right? Mm -hmm. And so part of that is helping others, whether it's, you know, a, a race team that needs help getting their name out or, or, mm -hmm. you know, um, I just, I was just at Doomfest and I have a friend of mine that was like, Hey, can you introduce me to these guys? And, and, you know, it's, it's beneficial, uh, beneficial for vote both parties. Mm -hmm. And, 
I'm not, I don't need to be involved. I just want to help my friends, help the people, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really interesting uh, how these things work. We only get to see, especially with social media, we get to see the highlight reel. You know, we get to see the end result. Um, a lot of people yeah. say, yeah, there's overnight success. And yeah. I know I, I talked to uh, Joey D about this. Shoot, this was on episode 24. Um, and he was talking about how he was considered an overnight success. He's like, yeah, but it right. took me like two years of no sleep and like being on these forums and talking to everybody and helping people line up whatever you could help them line up for years before it yeah. turned into anything. And that's, I think that's the same concept here. Yeah. And I think, you know, in, in off road, um, which is primarily where I'm at, um, and the UTV and side by side industry, um, is where I've been focused lately. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a fast growing area. Mm -hmm. Um, and a lot of people that are fresh into it, look at it. They want that instant gratification, right? right. Um, they want to be a racer and sponsored by Polaris their first year with no results and no background, no history. Um, mm -hmm. You have to realize, like you were saying, a lot of this stuff, it takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of time. Um, it's not an overnight thing, you know. And for, I mean, there's people I've worked with since 2012 that are, quote, unquote, finally getting big, you right. know. Right. And um, I've known them. I've believed in them. I've supported them all along. And I like to think that I've helped them make connections that have helped them. Mm -hmm. Um and so, you know, it's it's one of those things where uh, it's networking, helping people, supporting people, and just trying to help them get their program going, whatever it is, whether it's a business in this industry. If you really believe in it, if they're good friends, mm -hmm. you want to definitely help them. Mm -hmm. I, I don't see any other option, you know? Right, right. Well, and I'll give a couple examples um, related to, to this show. So one of the outlets for people now is podcasts, right? There's a number of, of podcasts out there in this off-road industry or snowmobile, that, and it gives you a new audience. And one of the things that I've seen people do behind the scenes, and Lauren, you've done it as well to help someone else, but I'll give an example of someone else, um, Rusty Baptist. He mm -hmm. messaged me one day and said, hey, this is way back now. He said, you got to have Cody Bradbury on your show. Just a, just a random message. He said, you got to have him on your show. And Cody wasn't on my radar at the time. You know, I've got my list of all these, these people that I want. Cody wasn't on that list. And he gave me all of these great reasons why he should be on the show. And I was like, sure, let's do it. And, and he didn't have to do that, right? There was nothing that right. said he, he didn't benefit at all from doing that either. Um, but I think that that was huge. Maybe it means something for Cody now. Maybe it doesn't. But it's at least one more little piece of content that he now has, you know, within his resume. Maybe he picked up two or three more fans as a result. And those people might make a huge difference five, six years down the road. Sure, absolutely, and, you know, that, that carries on, you know, when I got a hold of you about Haslam, mm -hmm. and I, that episode I thought was a great episode because it really highlighted getting sponsors from outside your box, if you will, outside of right. your industry and the importance of that, and right. um, so I think, you know, that was – and I've helped him expand his program um, with some other connections, you know. And mm -hmm. it's just a matter of, hey, you know, you should look at this guy. And then on the other side, hey, you should throw this guy an email, you know. And then you just step back and let 
It's like you, you wad up the paper and you throw the match at it and then walk away and let the fire start, right? So, um, yep. and I think if you if you go into that, um, if you're trying to do that, if you're trying to do it for self-gratification or profit, mm-hmm. it's just... For me, it's to help people, right? right. It's, and to grow the sport. We want to see all our sports, all motor sports, grow and continue to grow. We're we're mm-hmm. on an upward swing right now. Yeah. And uh, hi, Sarah. Thanks for joining us. Um, Say, Sarah, you better be having your notebook out and scribbling down the notes, right? Getting ready because you're coming. You're you're gonna be here. That's a good one. It's happening. So you better just just keep on taking those notes, you know. Make sure you're prepped and ready. <laughs> yeah, um, I I think. Go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna give a quick shout out too. It's a couple other folks uh, were commenting. PJ, thanks for commenting there. Uh, let's see who else we got. Mike Morrison. Uh, we got Jason Brandt, Janessa Drago. So hey, thanks for coming on. You know, definitely keep leaving those comments. Type in some questions too. Um, that way we can go through and answer any specific sure. questions that you might have and then share, yep. share out to your friends, invite your friends, uh, you know, tag whatever you want. My buddy Ed from Ohio. Hi, Ed. Nice. nice. Welcome. Welcome. Um, yeah. So I, I think that's all pretty critical stuff. Um, you know, I, I get shocked at how many times that thing, that, that those things happen. For, for example, so Jake Coleman, you've been on his show. So Jake does the Dirty yes. Dinner podcast and also Boats and Shows mm-hmm. podcast. And he has his own live show. And, uh, you know, he's helped me link up with guests. Actually, he was the one that said, to me, Lauren has to be on your show. you got to make that happen. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> you know, and then I, yeah. I, I, I hit you up, I think, even that same day. Um, now you've been on yeah. twice. But this is your second time being on the show. Um, yeah, you thank know, you, by the way. Happen. I appreciate it. Yeah, no, it's been great. It's been great. But Jake didn't have to do that, right? It doesn't right. benefit him. He's just wanted sure. to help. Um, and same with, uh, you know, he invited me out to Silver Lake Sand Dunes, Jake did, uh, which is right by me in Michigan. And he flew out there. And uh, Blake Wilkie was there. All right, so Blake, is he's a big deal. He's an awesome guy. And so I got to meet him because of Jake. And then Jake's like, oh, yeah, now all you got to do is just ask him to be on the show. Right. And then it was just right. that easy. Um, so then and Blake was on. He'll actually be his his episode will be the next one that releases. So things like that, I mean, they like they pay off, you know, in the long run. Even if you're not intending it to, it, you put goodness out into the world, it kind of comes back and helps you. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Hey, Wayne. That's uh, what's up? Thanks for coming. Yeah, Wayne. Wayne is gonna be sitting with me in person at Vegas Torino. We're gonna have our little headphones on, a little headgear, awesome. talking back and forth. So that'll be exciting to to hang out there. Very cool. I wish I was gonna be down there. I, that one is not gonna fit into my schedule right now. So right, right. Um, it's on my bucket list, so. One of these days. <laughs> it's a good one. It's a good one. I went last year with uh, Jimmy Moore Bold Racing, and uh, that was my first time ever being anything like that. And it just, my mind was like all over the place. So. But I got some awesome right. interviews. Actually, Travis Pastrana was there last time and Julian Van Butte, so I was able to snag them for some interviews. So that was good stuff. Oh, I see uh, Stephanie Guthrie just joined in. She is the... Uh, if you don't know the Guthries, um, they're great My, people. You need to get to know yeah. them. Yeah. So welcome, Stephanie. Welcome, welcome. Uh, so anybody else, you have other questions, uh, go ahead and just type them in. Otherwise, I'll just start going on a rant uh, here. Um, but definitely t- <laughs> any questions you might have for, for Lauren or myself, go ahead and type them in, and we can go ahead and address those. Um but I, Lauren, one of the things I was going to ask you is just, can you think of other examples of times where either somebody has helped you or you've helped somebody else behind the scenes that's ended up creating some new connections later? So we talked about the podcast a little bit just now. Um, 
you know, are, are there anything else like that? I know you got a lot of relationships out there with people. Oh yeah. Um, man, there's, there's so many, you know, I, I honestly, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, um, be where I'm at now without mm -hmm. people behind the scenes going, Hey, I want to introduce you to this person or, Hey, I want to introduce you to that person or, uh, you know, Hey, why don't you come out? You know, Joey invited me to come down, I think in 2012 or 13, hang with her. Um, you know, um, and that provided more contacts and, and, I think there's, you know, there's so many that, that like to pick one specific out would be a little mm -hmm. tough. But, um, yeah, I mean, there's uh, there's so many. I've been in the side-by-side -side industry or the side-by-side -side, side of motorsport, however you want to put it, for quite a while. Um, and so I know a lot of people. And, you know, like I said, I've it's like, Walking down Vendor Row at Doomfest this last weekend, you know, it took me probably hour and a half to get down one side just yeah. from people stopping and talking. Yeah. And and there you get the people that are like, hey, you know, you know so-and-so? No, I don't. Oh, you got to come meet this guy. And, you know, I mean, mm -hmm. it's just, <clears throat> excuse me. It's nonstop. Um, I was just fortunate enough through one of my contacts that said that I was uh, spending some time with this last week said, hey, um, I want to introduce you to a friend of mine uh, and introduce me to one of the, well, the, uh, I guess, West reps for Textron um, mm -hmm. for off the off-road division. Um which ended up with us spending some time together at Doomfest, um, seven-second run down the sand drags with, for a naturally aspirated bone stock car on knobbies. Not so bad, yeah. right? So, you know, and <laughs> and I got to I can run, ride a little so. bit. <laughs> no, that's good. I uh, I was just thinking, too, of, of, of other examples. Um of how maybe little little things here and there can can help later on. So one, George Hamill, he's been on this show twice. He was originally on episode 23, and then he was on uh, one of our live shows. I just can't remember what number that was. Uh, but either way, you know, I've tried. He just he's just been such a great person. So whenever I have the opportunity to mention his name to someone, hey, you should check out George Hamill. I try to make those connections, and I know that. Uh, that's helped him gain some different sponsorship exposure. And then in turn, it's actually helped me on accident gain additional sponsors for the show, which is strange how those things happen. Uh, but I think what ultimately has been pretty cool, and people will be able to hear it on the episode that just released, I was able to send George a message and say, hey, George, I need your help with something. It was fairly, you know, I guess fairly small, but still it probably took him a, a 20, 30 minutes of effort to put together. I said, hey, George, can you help me put together uh, and oh, it looks like Loomer might have lost audio. Can you hear me now? I I got you back. I lost you there for about a minute. <laughs> Probably everybody else did too. <laughs> uh, well, either way, uh, with, with George Hamill, you know, I I was I built a relationship with him. You know, we both helped each other behind the scenes, and I was able to call him up and say, Hey, I'm I'm trying to put together a new uh, sponsorship plug uh, to release on that podcast. I want to have I asked myself, would you be willing to actually share a story of yours about, in this case, it was Armor Coat, uh, which has been sponsoring the show for a long time now. And he's like, yeah, no problem. Like, I'm on it. And you know, he crafted up a message that was like, you know, his story and his experience with Armor Coat and how it helps him in the racing program. And then I added my own little little bit. Um, you know, he had to actually get audio equipment together and record that. And I thought that was pretty huge. But, you know, if, yeah. if I had never tried to help him behind the scenes that we would have never built that relationship. And then I wouldn't have, in my opinion, I think that's better quality content for people too. And I wouldn't have had that without his support. Right. 
and that's you know it's just such a huge deal i mean there's there's a lot of us that know a lot of people and so you know it's however we can support i mean it's it's good for the entire industry to get the word out you know what you're doing i think is a great service because it helps a lot of people um understand especially as the racing side of Mm -hmm. the especially um side-by-side and utv industry is starting to explode it helps Mm -hmm. a lot of people understand and know what it takes to go through to get you know you don't just walk in and get everything companies don't just throw stuff at you Um, it may appear that way but that's not how it works and and so you know just being able to like like work with you and help with your podcast it's Mm -hmm. like you know, uh, it's just another service to the industry, really, to help it grow. Yeah, and that's that's one of the things, too, that I guess part of the mission for the show is to give people the tools that they need so that they can grow their program and ultimately pull more money into the industry in general, and then the industry can grow. So exposure is a big thing for making this entire industry continue to exist for a long time. Um, so I, that is one of one of my big things. That's also why I keep really asking people to try to pull in the non-endemic sponsors as much as possible. So that's the people who are not necessarily already in motorsports, you know. So, you know, there's tire companies that are in motorsports, but, like, what about – I'm just going to throw this out there. Tide, right? Like, you get dirty. Let's clean with Tide. But that – they can bring money from outside of motorsports in – and put it inside the motorsports world, and then we can grow it totally. So that's part of the mission. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, and there's there's a lot when people start thinking outside the box, if you will, you know, about um, other companies to bring in. Whether you're doing, whether you're in snow, off road, uh, freestyle, MX. It doesn't matter, you know. You look at so many of these companies and the big, big um, sponsorship realms and professional, ultra professional, I would call them. Um, you know, who would who would expect that, uh, like a casino would sponsor? It's going back a bit, but a casino would sponsor a Supercross racer. Right, right. You know, where's that co- correlation? Um, but it worked for them because right. I know who they are now, right? So, um, and I never would have known because I don't go to casinos very often. So, right. usually when there's an event. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, one good example, too, of just a non-endemic sponsorship piece, um, and it goes back to a connection that you made with me was Robert Haslam. You know, I think he's uh, sponsored by, is it Hum Kubacha or, uh, I know I'm hum, saying it wrong. Hum Kombucha. Hum Kombucha. You know, I didn't even yes. know anything about that. And now I, I've not only seen it, I actually recommended somebody else, another rider. I said, gosh, this could be your ticket right here. And I sent them the company info to try to get them to, you know, try, I can't remember who it was now. So I, I don't know if they were, if they were successful, but. You know, that's that's a good example of bringing in a brand for that most people in motorsports don't necessarily know about, but he can make them he can make them aware. Yeah, and actually, you know, it's funny with them because they they had kind of no idea what they were getting into, you know, right. working with him. I mean, they knew mm-hmm. okay, freestyle, that's cool, we like that, it's something we don't do. Um, yeah. And then all of a sudden their logos are plastered all over Winter X and, right. you know, kid, yeah, a kid comes out of nowhere and, and uh, you know, wins a bronze medal. First first person to backflip a snow bike in competition. Right. Um, 
you know, and his, I, I'll give him props, his, his gear was on point for X, mm -hmm. you know, so um, it really popped in the camera, so that was brilliant on his side, and that's mm -hmm. something that I know we haven't talked about, but the visibility factor, yeah. um, you know, how do you make yourself stand out mm -hmm. is something um, definitely that's a whole nother deal, you know? Right. Um, and a lot of people don't think about that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Sarah uh, just asked a question. And this is a this is a really good one. It's hard to get those sponsors if you don't have inside connections. Do you have any pointers to find these kinds of companies? Um, you know, I'll just give a quick a quick note. There was actually a uh, an episode ninety three. Uh, we had Megan Meyer on from NHRA, and she's linked up with Menards and a, a company called Celsius, and they're both non endemic. And she was sharing examples of how she uh, started with a uh, a live event at a local site that was a chain area. So I think that's how it worked. I think she said she went to Menards and said, hey, I I can bring my, in this case, drag car here. We'll do an event. You know, we'll bring people in. And I think that was like her first stage in, in building relationship with, with Menards. I probably messed that up, but I think that was part of the intent, you know, is to say start local especially if it's a, if it is a chain, you can start local with somebody and, and propose to them, Hey, let's try doing something on a very small scale and just see what, where it goes. Um, so that's, I know that's one thought. Um, Lauren, do you have anything that, you know, you might recommend or suggest? Um, yeah, I do. Oh, Hey, Wade, uh, Wade Moore from 31 style. Uh, I'm glad you're here. Um, yeah, I do actually. I think, um, start small. Like you said, it, even if it's a national chain, introduce yourself to your local store manager. Um, always hit the highlights. What can you do for them? Um, that's a big thing that will get most bean counters, if you will, get their attention. Um, mm -hmm. what's your exposure without being overblown or still be humble about it. But, you know, like the Danbury's, you guys, great family. You have a great following. And I think, um, you know, presented to someone, they could look at it. Uh, you know, if you're not, don't hit them for a full season of sponsorship, you know. Mm -hmm. um, just say, hey, we'd like to work with you. We use your products. We believe in your products. Um, and we'd like to work with you. Uh, on a big side of sponsorship, the one thing that I tell people, and it's the simplest of simple, the answer is always no if you don't ask the question. Right, right. So, Sarah, I'm hoping that you're going to come back in like three months from now and say, hey, we just locked down a deal with, I don't know. We'll go back to the Tide example. The Tide. Look at this Tide. Our clothes are so clean now. That's what I'm, I'm hoping something big like that happens. <laughs> hey, Amy, yeah, how's it going? <laughs> That's good. Any other questions like that or anything else you want to add to that, Lauren? Um, no, I think the I think um, you know, if you present them with a value and basically under promise and over deliver, yeah, you start getting a reputation for that and you know, people want to work with you. And like mm -hmm. you said, once you kind of get if you get the snowball kind of rolling, if you will, um, I think you're then you have other companies outside the base industry going, oh, I want a part of that. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. it's um, you see, you know, off road racers that are all the time sponsored by Heatwave. 
sunglasses, you know, they mm -hmm. or Oakley or Vans or DC or you yeah. know, and those those aren't you know your standard racing apparel, but they're all part of it. You know, yeah. it's uh, I've I had in the past had, had a deal with five oh nine. Um, I still wear the white wraps because I like them and we're working on some deals, but you know, it's, they're a little more engrossed in the industry, um, obviously, but you know, it's, uh, I think if you work your best to represent as bigger than life, if you will, mm -hmm. then you're going to continue to bring sponsors in um, and will eventually, I mean, it's it's a matter of perseverance also. You don't just go, well, forget it, I'm done. It, you have to keep digging, you know? Yeah, and I'll just kind of add another, uh, I guess, recommendation for a starting point. Um, and I, I think we may have even talked about this again with, uh, Megan Meyer on uh, episode 93, which, which is live as well. We said, you know, start with something that you already really like and you already use. And that's where social media can come into place too. So I, I actually promised this in the last one. I said I would never take my shoe off again, but like I'm wearing the same sandals as I was last time I recorded with Megan. But I noticed I have tons of Adidas clothes and Adidas shoes and, uh, like that would be someone if I want to reach out and say, look, Adidas, I I use your stuff anyways. I like it anyways. I would be totally willing to promote it, you know. Uh, so that might be one option. Another one who I think is I don't know how she did this, but uh, Colette Davis, she uh, has a, a sponsorship with uh, Microsoft Surface. So if you look over here, I'm just going to turn the camera a little bit. So this is Microsoft Surface. And that's what I do all of my, my podcasting on. Uh, and it's a phenomenal thing. So, like, that would make sense for me to go after Microsoft Surface at some point, too, which is not endemic. So, um, but Colette, did, I don't know how she did it, but she did a fantastic job uh, setting up a deal with, uh, with Microsoft Surface. Yeah. yeah, I've actually been looking at those. I hear they're uh, the way to go. <laughs> it, I gotta be honest with you, it's, it's phenomenal it, and it it's it, it's very quiet so when I'm doing my podcast you can't hear any of the the feedback and the, the microphone which is pretty critical you can detach this and do all your editing uh, remotely the battery lasts forever um, yeah so hey Microsoft if you're listening right now Bill Gates if you're sitting there like hmm, what's the sponsor Roderick for podcast going on hit me up I got you I, I got you I can sell at least one of these things Hashtag Mad Dog approved. Yeah, right, right. I, Man, this is we're getting all sorts of people coming out right now. Look at this. My cousin Bertina, what's up? Derek, my buddy, listen to this. Derek and I, we grew up like playing with little tractors in the dirt, you know, when we were just kids. So what's up, man? My wife is on. What's up, <laughs> wife? Travis came out. Travis, what are you doing, man? We're about ready to end the show and you're coming on. You're supposed to be the first one on. You're supposed to be number one, but um quick shout right. out to All Travis. These late yeah quick shout out to travis man he has been uh on fire like his rs1 is on point i think it looks sweet so nice work whoever did the rap for that i can't remember with it they killed it killed it <clears throat> is there anything else lauren that just kind of final closing thoughts or things that you kind of want to share with folks although it looks like you just froze up <laughs> or did i freeze up <laughs> We might have lost Lauren. Well, folks, this might be the perfect time to kind of close things out anyways. If you can still hear me, I know Lauren's in frozen land right now, and I might be too, but if you can still hear me, I want you to continue leaving comments. Lauren and I can go back through those comments and answer the questions. And I just really hope that you enjoy this and you're getting value out of it. And basically, I'm going to leave you with this. Have fun and ride safe.